Hi, this session is all about ball mastery and ball manipulation. It's a very easy drill to set up. You need a small space and three cones. If you don't have cones, you can use jumpers, you can use shoes, or even your mum's favorite garden gnomes, and you'll need to set up the three cones in a triangle, which are one pace apart. First drill, we're gonna be using our right foot. You start at the back of the triangle, and we use the inside of our right foot to move across the back of the cones. When we get to the corner, we use the outside of our right foot to move up the outside of the triangle. When we get to the top, we use the sole of our foot, drag it all the way back. We wanna be taking small touches and keeping the ball close to the cones, but not so close that we're gonna stand on them. When you get around to the top, right footers, let's make sure that we're looking where we're going as we come back, okay? One of the common mistakes on the, the drag back is gonna be you stand on the cones because you're too focused on dragging the ball back and not looking where you're going, okay? Once you've got the feel of the ball underneath your foot, you should be able to take a look, to see which way we're going and come back to the start. Once you've mastered each one of the three, let's try and speed it up. So we use the inside of the right, outside of the right, and then back to the start, and then we carry on. part of the drill is exactly the same as the first but we use our left foot and we go the opposite way around so we start on this side of the triangle we use the inside of our left foot to go across the back then we use the outside of our left foot to take it across the top we then start dragging back with our left foot to get back to the start for right footers in particular when you get to this top cone make sure you give yourself enough room as you come past using the outside so that you're not standing on it with your right foot so you can come all, all the way back to the start once you've got those three bits put together, then we start going all the way around and we go a bit faster. And you repeat until you've got it mastered. third part of the drill is to put both the right foot and the left foot together and we go round in a cycle with the right and then we go back with the left. So let's have a little go. All the way back to the start. Let's make sure we concentrate on both feet. If you struggle with the left foot, Practice that more first, it's gonna be more difficult. We don't use it as often. Same with your left foot is, if you find the right more difficult, practice that one first, then put the two together and loop them. The final part of this drill is using the underside of our foot to go all the way round the triangle. Across the back, we use our right foot to roll the ball, then we come to the end and we turn and we switch feet. We use our left foot. We get to the end and we can use whichever foot we're comfortable with the sole of the foot back to the start, okay? Once you've got them, you can speed it up. The most common difficulty you're gonna find on this is not getting your leg your standing leg out of the way when you drag the ball across your body. So if you don't do that, what you're gonna find is the ball's hitting your foot and you lose control of it, okay? So slow it down. If you find the sole rolls particularly difficult, either with the left or the right, just stand and practice them where you are. Once you've got that sorted out, then you can start to go around and you can start to use your speed. Once you get into the rhythm, you find it a lot easier get all the way back to the start, okay? Remember, quick feet, move the standing legs out of the way.
Once you've got all four mastered, set yourself a challenge. Can you do all four in a row without making a mistake? Can you do it at high speed without making a mistake? Once you've got that down, set yourself another challenge. If Pick your favorite drill and do six cycles of the same drill in less than a minute. What's your personal best? If you're finding it difficult, separate the cones further, slow things down. If you want to set yourself an even bigger challenge, speed it up, reduce the gap in between the cones, make it harder, enjoy yourself and have fun.